the fact that all my New York friends are probably gonna be butthurt about this video and possibly hate me. I'm still gonna do it though. The fact that it's a crime to be in a certain neighborhood when you're from another neighborhood. God forbid you end up in the ghettos of Brooklyn when you're actually from the Bronx. You in the wrong neighborhood, mother f***ing tourists. Listen, listen, I understand this is your first time in the city, but do you really have to take family photos right in the middle of the f***ing sidewalk? Every New Yorker at any point of the day has something to do. We gotta go to school, we gotta go to work, we gotta feed our kids. The last thing we need is for you guys to have a family bonding moment right in the middle of Times Square where we're trying to handle our shit. We already have to deal with these fake ass Spider-Mans and Batmans. We do not need you to add to the problem. Why do all interactions with non-New Yorkers go like this? Oh, uh, so, so you're from New York, right? Yeah. So, so like, are you part of a gang or something? Cause, cause if you are, could you, could you like give me and my homies safe passage through your hood? Not every black and or Hispanic person from New York is a gangbanger, bro. Believe it or not, most of us are trying to avoid these hood traps so we don't get shot and or arrested. I like my life and my anus. Why do all interactions with hobos go like this? Uh, uh, excuse me, sir, excuse me. You look like a fine, upstanding young gentleman. Listen, I I'm just a dude here trying to make it in New York, trying to get some food for his family. So, so could you please, please just spare a brother a dollar, please? Uh, that's all I ask, just a dollar. Yeah, man, I got you. Give you a dollar calming, upstanding gentleman. I got you, bro, here, take this. Oh, uh, li listen, man, listen, man. Can you just give me that five instead? I, I know you have it, I saw it in your wallet. Can you just, can you just please spare that five dollars instead? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a real struggling old man just trying to make, just trying to make it here in New York, just trying to feed it. Nigga, I'm broke too. You are not the only one struggling out here. That five dollars could have been my last five dollars that I had to my name. I gotta pay for school, I gotta pay all these bills, I gotta fund this channel. Don't come over here asking for a dollar and then try to bargain for five. Move with your inconsiderate ass. The fact that the majority of our drivers are psychopaths. All right, listen, I may not have my driver's license yet, but I'm pretty sure that when that traffic light turns yellow and I start walking across the street, that does not mean you speed up to try and catch the light. Especially when you're two whole blocks away. Are you trying to hit me? Actually, actually, you know what? Hit me so I can sue your ass and then pay for my college tuition. Think it's a game out here, man? It's not, I'm broke. Why are we all just so angry? Like really, New Yorkers are the most hot-headed and aggravated people you will ever meet in your life. I don't know if you've ever truly just randomly stared at a New Yorker before, but this is usually what's going through our heads. Yo, why the f is this dude looking at me, B? Like, do I got something on my face though? Bro. If this dude does not stop looking at me, I'm a while out. Are you dead ass, bro? Yo, keep looking at me. Keep looking at me, my nigga. Keep looking at me. I swear everything I love, I will walk over there and beat that ass. And that's only after about three seconds of staring. The fact that the whole city smells like gorilla booty hole. Why is it so hard for me to just simply walk down the beautiful streets of Harlem without it smelling like Bigfoot dropped the biggest turd on 125th Street? This is why I don't understand how some of these tourists can eat outside. Yo, why are a taxi drivers such savages? Like for real, a taxi driver will cut off traffic, <laughs> run over an old lady, and hit a street stand just to get one customer. I respect your hustle, but calm down, bro. You know how many people out here trying to catch a cab? You will never have to worry about lack of customers. You know why? The MTA is trash, bro. Like, oh my God. New York City is known as a place where you can get to wherever you want to get to using public transportation. But how can we do that when the MTA is literally f***ed up every hour on the hour? We are being held by the train's dispatcher. Please be patient. Yo, screw the train's dispatcher. I'm trying to get home. A normal train ride in New York consists of getting held up every five stops for 10 minutes. Why? I don't know. And they still have the nerve to push for the price of Metro cards to go from $275 to $3. Damn! Yo, before you even ask for a raise, fix your shit. That's like me working as technical support, breaking your computer and going like $300, please. No, no, you cannot do that. That's not fair. Yo, the MTA gets me so tight, bro. Like son, son, yo, nah, f the MTA, bro. 
the MTA. The MTA can lift the darkest side of my left nut. Yo, Dochi, you good? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take that as a no. So I'm, I'm gonna just finish this video for you, all right? All right, back to business. Why do we get all the violent people? Dudes are out here getting jumped, robbed, assaulted. Why though? Why are so many New York women just anti-men? Now by that, I don't mean that we have a lot of women that are only attracted to other women. Like, you know, that's, I'm completely fine with that. Love who you want to love, be awesome. But why are so many New York women just so hostile towards men? Like, why does shit like this happen? Um, excuse me, miss. Do you have the time? Nigga, I got a man. Jump off a cliff and die. Lady. I just wanted the time. If I wanted to ask you out, then I would have asked you out. Go somewhere with your bougie ass, man. Never wanted it anyways. Why do our thugs have to create the most idiotic ways to kill time? Let me give you an example. Once upon a time, there was something called the knockout gang. Now, I don't think it originated in New York, but boy, we took that shit and made it our own instantly. Now, if you don't know what the knockout game is, it went a little something like this. You're a simple guy walking down the street, minding your own business. And then out of nowhere, some dude runs up to you and vets you for no reason. Full on assault. And that was a game. Oh, oh, wait, 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 there's another one. There was once a time where handing out buck 50s was the hip thing to do. And by buck 50, I don't mean dudes are out here handing each other one dollar and 50 cents. No, imagine you're sitting down on the train, minding your own business, just jamming to like Bodak Yellow or some shit. Then out of nowhere, as someone is running off the train, he stops and slices your face with a box cutter that was a thing and that's not even the worst part i haven't even told you why they call it a buck 50. the goal of this endeavor was to force your victim to go to the doctor and get 150 stitches on your face why why do we do this halloween now i know most of you are like but conscience halloween is so much fun i know you hate it but that's not a good enough reason to just say that halloween makes new york bad first of all shut up for you halloween may be a simple fun time where you dress up as people that you're not and get free candy what to us in nyc gang initiation so when we used to live in the Bronx as a kid, we were banned from going trick-or-treating only because there was an excess of shootings, drive-bys, and a whole bunch of other shit. When I tell you that people were literally risking their lives to go trick-or-treating, I'm not kidding. So to you, the worst that can happen is somebody throwing toilet paper at your house or eggs or whatever. Not a big deal. To us, oh, you know, you might just get shot if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just your average holiday in New York, everyone is trying to be a rapper, bro like everyone now i have no issue with people following their dream do your thing but i swear to god if don't you and i run into another trash ass rapper that's trying to sell us his mixtape at the apollo on 125th street we're gonna turn the fuck up don't call yourself a rapper then give me a cd with 90 percent bass we get enough of that with all the mainstream music that's out today just stop it why is new york so friggin bipolar with its weather today you're wearing shorts tomorrow you have to wear a winter coat with rain boots make up your damn mind new york new york is really and truly one of the hardest places to live in it's so expensive here we just want to get a nice one bedroom apartment so that Dochi can edit his dumbass videos in peace but we also don't want a giant hole in our pockets so yeah new york public schools don't close down for shit. Jesus could be coming down from heaven right now to bless us with his presence. And I swear to you, schools will still be open. One day there's gonna be black guys on the road because of a blizzard. A bus is gonna go skidding and hit Dochi right in the face. It'll be hilarious. However, when that day does come, just know that we're suing your ass, New York. Watch yourself. The fact that we have to explain our slang to everyone outside of New York. Bro, don't ask me why I used it as to add emphasis to my previous statement. Don't ask me why I used the word tight to describe ensuing rage. Don't ask me why our summer, fall, winter, and spring attire must always include Tim's. That's just how we are.
let us rock. And lastly, <laughs> can we please stop getting these whack ass chain performances? The actual break dancers, good singers, and skilled rappers, y'all can stay. You guys entertain me. I'll give you a dollar. But I know for a fact that if Doji gets on another train where some dude does some random ass up on a pole and grazes his nose, he's decking him on sight. And I don't want to see him get knocked out. It's my body too, you know? This should be like a bar of confidence. If you're above this bar, by all means, go ahead and perform a promotion on the train. But if you're below this bar, you suck. Train until you get better and stop performing. But those are the 20 reasons why being a New Yorker sucks. Let us know if you want us to make more videos like this. Thank you to our patrons for making this video possible. If you are not already a patron, go to our Patreon page in the description below and find out how you can support the channel while getting some dope ass rewards at the same time. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to share it subscribe and then hit the little bell notification so that you can keep updated with all stuff going on with the channel. If you're also from New York, go in the comment section below and tell us your biggest pet peeve about living in this city. Be easy, stay lit, and take care. Yo, Doji, you, you, you okay, buddy? You, you, you want some ice cream? I, I'm gonna go get him some ice cream.